You've seen them, you've smelled them and wondered why people were smoking them inside. We're talking about e-cigarettes and on this alert day, we're talking all about smoking and e-cigarettes are definitely the new fad. There's been an uptick in the number of teens and young adults using these e-cigarettes. A study by lung.org cites that nearly all e-cigs had some kind of nicotine and of course nicotine is addicting, but it's fair to say that there are still a lot of unknowns when we're talking about these smoking alternatives. We don't have enough data and they're not really regulated, so it's hard for me as a doctor to make any recommendations about them. What I can say is that for, um, for people who don't smoke, I strongly recommend not picking up e-cigarettes. The FDA did a study and found that e-cigarettes really aren't all that effective when people are trying to quit. A lot of people disagree with that. And parents, here's a scary fact for you. Over a three-year period, the number of middle and high school students using e-cigarettes more than tripled. So when you have that birds and the bees talk, reminding them say no to drugs, include telling them to avoid those e-cigarettes that some people think are not very harmful. And if you don't consider e-cigs, um, if you don't use them, the if you do not use them, it can still be harmful. Let me explain. The vapor that is exhaled, it does contain carcinogens like formaldehyde. So how harmful is secondhand smoke from these e-cigarettes? Unfortunately, it's just too early to tell. Again, the doctor I talked to say, if you are a non-smoker, do not pick them up.